The First Priest, Sir Ignatius Collage. This is a story of one of the most important and iconic figures of Simbu captured in our history book My Chimbu. The detailed life story of Sir Ignatius here is as told to me by the late Lady Regina Collage sometime in 2006 at the Mount Wilhelm Hotel in Kundia. The photo of him here is a 1987 election campaign picture when he contested for the Simbu regional seat under the National Party. That was a year after Sir Iam Bakiakuk had died. Ignatius Collage came second to Norman Peter Cumin. As noted earlier, many of the young men who went to school in the early times went on to become important people. Cocaine Man, Ignatius Collage, was the first man from the Highlands to be ordained a priest in 1968 and later he was to become one of the most distinguished statesmen in Papua New Guinea. As the day of his ordination approached, Ignatius especially chose the date December 17, 1968 in memory of the burial date of Father Karl Morshuser. Father Morshuser was killed a day before that at Womani by Ignatius' tribesmen and he chose the date as a symbol to show his people that even though they had killed a European priest from far away, one of their own sons will rise to carry forth his work. In further fulfilling this dream, Father Ignatius returned to his people in Chimbu to start his pastoral work and served his first Mass at the Dengalagu Church. Between 1969 and 1973, Father Ignatius served as a priest in various parts of the province, including Wangoy, Ko, Near Gama, and Koglai. Kalaj, as he was known in his childhood, was born on 31 July 1943 to Mother Susanna Wagla and Father Stephen Onguglo in Bunguglo village of the Kangalko tribe in the Jembaglaria. He was baptized at an early age in Minjen Catholic Church and given the name Ignatius. Ignatius Kalaj was one of the first Chimbu people to attend formal schooling at Kambu Primary School near Minjen in 1949. After that he went on to Patama High School in the Western Highlands, where he spent four years, and then he went on for another two years to a senior high school in Madang. As a young boy growing up in Chimbu, he was so touched by the work of the early missionaries and especially the death of the two missionaries in his area that he also decided to become a missionary. One in 1962, he went to Olapia Seminary in Rabao, where he spent two years and then he went on to the Bomana Seminary for a further four years. His classmates at the seminary were John Mamas, Leo Hannett, Alexis Sare and Tawarpin, who would later become an archbishop. A few classes behind them was Father Louis Ambain. In the early 1970s he sought and obtained release from his vows from Pope Paul VI. In 1972 he was a commissioner on the Commission of Inquiry into Land Matters under the chairmanship of Seneca Gova. In 1973 he served as the Catholic Education Secretary. In 1974 he was appointed as a public service commissioner for dispute and tribunals. Ignatius Collage married Regina Moro in Port Moresby in January 1975 and they had their first daughter Gloria in November 1975. After that, they had one other girl and two boys. After independence in October 1975, Ignatius Kalaj was appointed the first chief ombudsman of Papua New Guinea. He served in that capacity for nine years. In 1985 the Chimbu provincial government was suspended for misappropriation of funds and Ignatius Kalaj was appointed as a special administrator of the province lasting 18 months. In 1987 he stood for the Chimbu regional seat as a national party candidate. This was a year after National Party stalwart and Chimbu leader I am Bakiakuk had died. He came second to Peter Cumin who was a People's Democratic Movement candidate. In 1988, his friend Bob Sinclair gave him a job as the director of the Lai International Hotel. Towards the end of 1988, he was awarded a doctorate in theology from the Papua New Guinea University of Technology. In December of that year, Sir Ignatius Kalaj was appointed the first Governor-General from the Highlands and the fourth for Papua New Guinea. On December 31, 1989, while still Governor-General he died of lung cancer at his four-mile family home in Port Moresby. <laughs>